Hey everyone, Kabi here. Just wanted to make a video on how to fix a problem that might occur with CSGO or any game, in fact, that you are playing where the game will alt tab out when you start it and it'll be very difficult to alt tab back in. A common symptom is that you will be able to hear the background noise of the game, but not be able to tab back in. You won't be able to get the focus back on the game. You'll just see your background windows and be able to interact with them. One problem that I don't want to conflate this with is slow tabbing in and out. If that's your only problem, that it's really slow or that it's lagging, this probably will not fix it. I couldn't tab back into the game unless it was at the exact same resolution that I have my monitor set at. I just couldn't do it. The only workaround was to double click the game on the taskbar. And that isn't a very sound workaround and it doesn't work with the alt tab button, which most people are used to using. The solution that I found was to use a utility called DDU. Now you may be familiar with this already, but DDU is a way to uninstall your graphics driver completely because it is very hard to do so using a normal or expected method. Now this program does have a bit of nuance to it. So it's important to read here using it in safe mode. Okay. Once you've done this, you're going to load into your computer. It's not going to have internet, but you'll be able to go to where you downloaded this file, which I might add you need to do by clicking on one of these links before you go into safe mode. You go to where you download that file, you click on the exe inside, and it's pretty self-explanatory. You just got to run the application and make sure that it's set for your uh, systems. Basically, the answer is to use this utility, and I promise you, your problem will be fixed. After that, you might be wondering, okay, if I update my graphics driver, is it going to still be broken? And in my case, you can see that I updated to the newest graphics driver. So basically uninstalling all the crud that came with your previous graphics driver upgrades and updates and just going straight from what the system installs to the most latest version of the driver didn't cause the issue to occur again for me. So I would say that yes, in my experience, it has been safe to update my graphics driver to the latest version after using DDU because it didn't cause the problem to come back, if that makes any sense. Okay, all right, that's all I got for this video. Hopefully it explained all the questions you might have about this problem and go ahead and let me know in the comments if you have any more and I may be able to answer them. All right, that's it for this video.